Good evening, everyone. Late Night Mega here, and tonight we're doing another new Capenna premiere draft. Let's go ahead and hop into this. Last time we had, we had what I thought was a really cool deck, even though it only got uh, three wins. But I had fun drafting it and playing it. Let's see what we can get this time. And and even though we only got three wins, we got the thousand gems. So essentially, it cost us five hundred to enter that. And uh, we still got a good amount of like rares and mythics from that. So I could take mana fixing. How many of those do I have? I have one of those already. Ah, uh, let's see. Other things in here. The decoy. I feel like I'm always playing green in this set. As much as I would like that to come back to me, I think it's better... It'll be better to take the two drop here. Other things in this pack... I don't know. Backup agent, security rocks, uh, the, the regulator body dropper. Those are all relevant. I'll take the decoy. Maybe this is... Oh. I was going to say, maybe this is one where we go three color, but... Uh, or the, the Cabaretti. But we have this Inspiring Overseer that we need to pick before that. Because that's like the best green... Or the best, <laughs> the best white common... Oh, and we have the Groundsbreaker, Elegant Entourage, and Illuminator Virtuoso. All very good cards. I don't even know what I want out of this. I want all three of these uncommons. Um, okay, so clearly a rare and a common was taken over all of this. Neither of these are citizens, so I guess I should be more looking at these. I feel like we can get four mana plus drops later. Even if they're not quite as good as the, oh, the Entourage. Four mana, four, four is not bad, but this Virtuoso can just wreck stuff with uh, combat. Oh my gosh, we're just, we're in the right colors, that is for sure. Ballroom Brawlers is good. Rocco is still good. I don't know which of those I want. Rocco is more of a five mana plus card, but still. Or the Ballroom bra Brawlers. Oh, let's see if we can get into Cavaretti. And if we're going into Cavaretti, the Strangle will be good. We just got to get some of the fixing for it. And we can make this work. Oh, uh, well, no, this is fixing. Well, that's fixing, but not for our colors. We could take the shield mate. It wouldn't be awful, but I think the mayhem patrol is a bit better. Or even Rafine's guidance. Rafine's guidance comes around later. Let me take the uh, mayhem patrol. Hey, there's fixing. So this packet's between the fixing or like the rocks pummeler, but we can find pummelers later. I don't think we need to pummel anything now. Let's take a piece of fixing, because last time, like, we got to pack three, and all of the fixing basically immediately dried up. Like, after the, the second uh, pick, there was no land fixing whatsoever. For the entire rest of pack three, it was really weird. 
Oh my. Well, I have a feeling red is slightly open. Because this is, yeah, that's a relevant card. Mr. Orfeo is there. We're not in those colors. So it seems like white might be like a bit of a or splash color here. Well, or green. We're seeing a lot of red. All right, there's sticky fingers, which would actually be really good with Illuminator Virtuoso. I'm going to pick one up here. Maybe I should take in the social climber, just focus on creatures. What's our creature? We've got six creatures already. The Rocco Wield. There's nothing else I'm taking out of this back. Well, then again, that combat trick for white goes well with the Virtuoso, but we'll take a second Rocco. That's a that's a strong signal that Cabaretti's going to be open. At least it should be. I mean, I don't know. I'm just saying words, and hopefully it turns out that way. Uh, well, this can put... I do like Boon of Safety. It can put a uh, shield counter on our Virtuoso. Also letting it connive. And I guess I'll just grab a Masked Bandits here. That'll probably go into the side of... Ooh, Plasma Jockey. And a piece of equipment we probably won't use. Hey, fixing... Fixing, and we have Colin a Professional. Those are kind of the two here. Rafine's Informant, Celebrity Fencer. I could even end up splashing just the Masked Bandits as a one-of. If I wanted to, and not even put in like a Swamp or anything, because you can always just... Do the two mana to exile it and then cast it later. I'm going to take the uh, garden. Security rocks. That's a nice big creature. It also could totally wheel, but I would expect one of these could also wheel. I'll take the security rocks. I. It's a five or er, four mana five four. That's not bad. I mean, that elegant entourage we were looking at was a 4-mana four 4-4. Four, four. It had an alliance thing versus, you know, this cheaper cost that we're probably never going to use. But, you know, as far as just a beat stick, the rocks can get the job done. Oh. Can I count on the brazen upstart wheeling? What does this do? Create a token that's a copy of another target creature you control. It gains haste, and when this creature dies, draw a card. Sacrifice it at the beginning of the next end step. Activate only as a sorcery. That seems like it could be insane, especially if I trigger this with something that has... ETB effects? <laughs> uh, yeah, this is... This can get good. What a weird pack. Four of these things. Uh, I think in this pack, we can just take the backup agent. Because it can put a counter on our Virtuoso, or our Mayhem Patrol, or our Overseer. And it goes well with that Jaxus. Yeah, that seems good. All right, so here, could the quick draw dagger be good here? Hmm, possibly. 
antagonize. I do. I would like to get some combat tricks going. Antagonize can be good with the virtuoso, the mayhem patrol. Yeah, we'll take that. Obscura Ascendancy would be a pretty decent card, except we need... How many three mana creatures do I have? Not a lot, so I'm looking at the Rose Master here and thinking, let's do that. Cabaretti Initiate, that can actually be relevant for us. If you control two or more multicolored permanents, it gains double strike. It could potentially happen. We can pick up the Initiate later. I need more three mana cards, and it's a 4-1. That is the second Obscura Ascendancy we've seen. If he has a counter on it, it also gains flying and lifelink. Yeah, this is the combat trick that goes well with uh, our Virtuoso. I want that. I want the Obscura Ascendancy just for rare collections, but let's let's be reasonable here. We haven't seen any fixing in this pack. So we'll grab an antagonize. Oh, hey, another Woody Rose Master. Sure we can. Plus two, plus seven, and untap it. Ah, oh, let's try that combat trick. Shall we? And a ready to rumble. And hey, I told you we might get the initiate back and a gold helm that we're probably not going to play. Undercover operative that is not in our colors. We have Ballroom Brawlers. What do we have for... What do we have for two mana? I think we're just about set on our two mana creatures. We could probably pick up another one. But I think we need to prioritize some fixing here. Before that all just completely dries up. We don't really need the bookcase or the... Ballroom Brawlers would be nice, but seriously? Uh, I really want the Jewel Thief. I really do. I should take the Jewel Thief, be reasonable, or... Or are we going to splash for Zayatora? I don't really have other. I don't have other ways of cheating it out. Let's take the jewel thief. We'll take the jewel thief. We'll be. We'll be reasonable. I could probably use some more on the top end. So I'm looking at Rock's Pummeler. Also, Rafine's Guidance. Where are the... Uh, let's grab the Requisitioner. I can help make mana. I can still help make mana. I could also grab a Light em Up. How many... One, two, three, four, five, six. We're all set on two drops, pretty much. Let's grab the removal. How many of these could we have taken? Like three in this pack alone. That's silly. That's very silly. So now I'm thinking we need this.
the revelers, or I take another. I could take another requisitioner. Why not? Jet mirrors fix it. That's the uh, two drop we haven't seen. Bootlegger's stash. Lands I control have tap. Create a treasure token. And we have the fixing, which we're okay on fixing. I'm gonna take the mythic though, even if I just sideboard it. Here, I don't know if we're playing any of this stuff. I'll grab the rare, do a little bit of rare drafting. Uh, social climber in case we were desperate for three mana creatures. Okay, we have a Magician, but we have a Rafine's Guidance. I did kind of want that for our Virtuoso. Hells wouldn't mind a Broken Wings, either. Hey, this came back. And in a shocking turn of events, the Zyatora did not come back. Also, that uh, Brazen Upstart never came back either. We have three antagonized. We are not running all three of those. Oh, I did get another Rafine's Guidance. I did kind of want a second one. Would be better if we had some connive to go with it. Man, if I had... A bunch of Jetmere's fixtures. That stash could be really good. But okay, we have 20 creatures, 13 non-creatures. Let's see what we have here for creatures. Ah, uh, scuttling. Butler, I don't think we only have four multicolor permanents. Well, wait a minute. Citizen tokens are also green and white. But I don't have a lot that makes those, but the threat of it making those could be slightly better than the threat of gaining a life. Problem is, if that doesn't have double strike, it's kind of... It can trade on the defense. I can also fetch it with Rocco. And Rocco could even potentially fetch one of these guys. Yeah, we'll try it. A uh, Plasma Jockey. Is this going to be a good deck for that? I don't know, potentially. Alright, but we do definitely have too many Antagonize. Sticky Fingers. Yeah, I would kind of like the Treasures. We have a lot of... We've got a lot of two drops we can put that on. We might not even need any antagonize with this sort of stuff. I want to try that refuse to yield. Uh, we are lacking in removal. Okay, so Rafine's Guidance. It's good with the Virtuoso. Kind of good on the Mayhem Patrol. Could be kind of good with the Jewel Thief and the Overseer. But otherwise, I think it's not 
that great. Uh, what do we got here for deck stats? 19 and 9. So I still have to cut more creatures. I guess... Do I want to cut the initiate? Could gain double strike. It could be something that I could fetch with Rocco. I don't like the idea of all these one toughness, two mana creatures. Maybe I don't want multiple of those. Woody Requisi Requisitioner is, uh, or Woody Roastmaster is good. Overseer is good. We'll see how good that rare is. Revelation of Power, that can give us the ability to block flyers. Boon of Safety, that can go well with the decoy. Yeah, I, I like that. So can the Sticky Fingers and the Refuse to Yield. I don't think I want more than four combat tricks, though. Then we've got three more cuts to make. And that's where it's going to start getting tough. And how many creatures do I still have? 18? 18 and 8. I could probably cut one more non-creature. In this case, I would think... As of safety worth it? Do I really have things that I need to put a shield counter on? Not really. And the other two cuts should then probably be creatures. And one of them should probably be from this, maybe the Requisitioner. Because it can make a treasure, but we're not really ramping into it. We didn't grab that Zyatora that we probably should have grabbed. So let's cut that and probably... This feels like it's going to be like kind of an aggressive deck with the menace, the double strike, the decoy, you know, the sticky fingers adding menace. And if that's the case, I don't really want to sit back until we can find two multicolored permanents. Because the rest of the stuff is pretty aggressive. And I like having multiple witty ropes. Rose Actually, I think. Our curve tops out at five. If our curve is going to top out at five, I could either bring that back in or even bring back in the requisitioner. And we can just cut a land. And we've got 17. Um, 
The only double caster is red, and that's at our top end. And we have still seven red sources. Eight. Yeah, let's let's go with this. Oh, we gotta change the uh, the thing. Um, it's Cabaretti, so let's get uh, Rocco there. Do I need to change the sleeves? Uh, what says Cabaretti? But we don't necessarily want them to know it's Cabaretti. I don't know. How about the actual Cabaretti sleeves? Yeah, we'll do that. Where are we going? We're done. Let's get into games. Really should have grabbed that Zyator and splashed it. Maybe I still need to prioritize fixing even more so in like pack one and two. I don't know. I, I tried to prioritize it and then we it still ended up drying up. Oh yeah, we have a jewel thief. We have a turn two, turn three, turn four play. Yeah, this is uh this is good. Hello, Volberg. Oh, hey, Zyator's Proving Ground. And we have our third color. We're going to keep that a secret for now. Because I don't have any cards that require that. Hey, I've seen that card somewhere before. Uh, next, we'll play the Jewel Thief. Uh, that is different. That is potentially really painful. A Strangle. Let's discard a card and I can get copies of a creature I control. I can strangle the Mayhem Patrol, which I have half a mind to do that. Um, I'm not in the mood to double fly. This is a time where I wish this didn't have menace almost. Target creature, my creature. Oh hey, I could also give the jewel thief the plus one boost so it could... Yeah, he's going to be attacking with it though. Gurdragoons. Gosh, this is so much damage. Have your opponent draw a card. I almost want to let him do that, because I don't want to take a boat ton of damage on turn four. And that also lets that thing block. So I could attack in with both. Okay, we're going to find out we have white. I think these guys are not defensive. do that. Oh, they are going to trade. Okay. Cool. I actually kind of like that. So then what we're going to do is we're going to strangle that. Um, that can block the 2-3. And then any card I get, I can turn into any other creature, which in this case would just be the Mayhem Patrol. Oh, that's not good. Okay, how am I stopping that? Ooh. No attacks. That thing has Trample, that's the problem. But I can start doing some nasty shenanigans myself. Are you going to make that fly?
Well, that's rude. But... Yeah, this is... Oh, I wish I had double red, because I could do that. Kill those two. I might still... still find a way to do this. Target a creature I control. How about this thing? Get rid of this plasma jockey. Alright, that's going to attack. That's going to attack. I could even attack with the main. Which I think... No, because then they stop my shenanigans. Make that big so that they double block. Okay, they are going to double block. Uh, let's kill the 2 2. And now this thing's going to have double strike coming in. And I have a mountain, so I can use whatever I draw. I can get another one of these guys. I'll have multiple multicolor permanents. Uh, okay, we'll scratch all of that because that's not happening. But this will still have double strike. Okay, they're they're going for the win. Dig up the bodies. Okay, they can return. Uh, they're getting back the shakedown heavy, of course. Okay, but that will get double strike. I can only light up one thing. Double strike blocks. I can't kill... Oh! I play this. That gives me enough life to live. Let's see. 8, 9, 10. That doesn't kill him, but... I think we just do this on this. Because he's got to block one of these big things. Because this has double strike. Oh, he's just going to throw that away. He could have... He could have traded for the five guy. And that would have been a trade. That would have been better for him. I mean, I'd still be having... I'm glad I kept this thing in now. Yeah, that one point of life from our fetch land saved us there. Wow. Alright, is there anything I would change? Because the plasma jockey just does not feel good on the defense. I need ways of gaining life. Or I need ways of... Shield counters are good. I really would like the boon of safety in. Oh, but Plasma Jockey can help us push through damage. Oh, and we have the broken wings. Okay. Well, let's let's stick with this. I guess don't underestimate that uh, that five three. I thought it wasn't going to be quite as good, but giving us the two bodies to give the uh, scuttlebug thing double strike. Or butler bug, or whatever it is. 
I would probably be mulliganing this hand if it wasn't for the revelers. I find it really weird that we're in red green and I don't have a single jet mirrors fixer. Because the last two times I've played this color combination, we got like three or four of the fixers. We have Virtuoso and Refuse to Yield. We could get a lot of damage through with that. I'm not I'm not too worried about the gold hound right now. Oh, there's the fixer. The fix is in. What's well, in for us, apparently. Oh, backup agent. That's a good card. Um. Yeah, we don't really have anything good to do here. I could use a white source, though. Given we're drawing all of our white cards. I'm not interested in... Yeah, if they attack, I'm just, they, they can attack with whatever they want. I mean, I can't do anything about this, and... I'm not interested in trading with the Fixer. I wouldn't even be trading with the Fixer. The Fixer would just be killing me. But I can also refuse to yield and make that thing potentially huge. We'll have the Revelers coming out soon. I think we'll be okay. I could also just play a backup agent. Like, if I get... Jewel Thief would be great, because I could play Jewel Thief Backup Agent. Don't kill that. No, don't. It's it's not... Very well. I could play Rocco and go get my... Cabaretti Initiate. I might actually do that. Okay, they do have a third land. And I'll trade the Rocco for the Fixer. Can I trade the Rocco for the Fixer? I could trade the Rocco for the Fixer. I feel like that's the best way I can start rebuilding my board here. action. There we go. So unless they play a green or red source before attacking, the Rocco can trade with the Fixer. And if it ends up not working out that way, that's fine too. Okay. I'll make that trade. Unless they want to use a combat trick, but I... You know, we can't do anything about their combat tricks right now. Anything before regular damage? No? Okay. Alright. Exhibition Magician. Okay. Okay. Ooh, Sticky Fingers. That is a good card. Because that can get me a treasure, and then I can play Backup Agent and Refuse to Yield. Or I can play the Rose Master... We got to do this. What do I want to do? Probably backup agent. Getting a counter on. Oh, that's kind of putting all my eggs in one basket, but most of his removal is probably going to be damage based. Or I could play the roast master. Which Rose Master right now would just be trading with... I don't want to just trade with stuff. Oh, 
I want to get some board presents, and I want to wreck stuff, because he's going to have something bigger coming now, because he's got this treasure. He has a couple treasures, actually. You can stack that for mana. Alright, opponent. What do you have? I can... Interact with some of this. I interact with you. We're not happy when I interact with you. Opponents thinking, so they must have multiple choices here. We've got refuse to yield. This could be coming, but then we actually lose our white source. Is this going to be like the seven damage thing? No, it's a security rocks. Oh, that's not quite what I wanted to see. I might have to play this next turn. Nobody's attacking. Okay. Maybe. Ooh. There's an actual planes. Because I could refuse to yield... Oh, this has Menace, though. So that would actually be a really good... Yeah, let's do this. I'm attacking. Because it has Menace, so if they, like, want to double block it... I'd be good with that. Because then I can untap it and give it double strike, and it'd be plus two plus seven. They wouldn't be killing it. And if not, then we just take damage and we get another treasure. I feel like I want to play the Roast Master this turn. Uh, that seems a little greedy. We should probably play the Revelers. Because the revelers give us two bodies. Let's play the Rose Master. I mean, I still can't play this and get. Well, I don't need to give it double strike on the defense. But now this is going to just add two more. Two more damage when we play the Revelers. Unless they kill it. I mean, they can always just kill things. I can do this. Plus two, plus seven, and it untaps. I don't know what... To, do you have something? Forge Breath. Okay. I to draw a card. I get a light him up. Do I want to trade for the rocks? I'd have to trade both things for the rocks. I don't think that's good. I might just shoot the magician here so I can attack with the roast master. Since it's not gonna block. Yeah, 
And we gotta start getting some damage going here. They're probably struggling to cast their stuff a bit. I mean, they could use the Gold Hound to do that. Okay, yeah, they're probably fine on mana now. Alright, what could I use here? Rocco would be cool. We could use Rocco and go get... Uh, oh gosh, he got my Zyatora. Zyatora that I chose not to draft. Uh, Broken Wings. Broken Wings would be better. Or we could get a Plains. I'm just dead to that. He attacks, and then he sacks the rocks and kills me. And there's literally nothing I can do. Alright. Does that mean there's anything I want to change? What the jackhammer? Could that be useful equipment? No, I think we we haven't even seen the pugilist yet. Part of me still wants that boon of safety. I just don't know where I would stick it. Maybe instead of revelation of power. Because that feels a little... I don't know. Boon of Safety just makes it easier to, well, save something. Let's do that. And I almost want the Social Climber so I can gain a bit of life. Maybe instead of the Plasma Jockey... Let's do that. We'll swap some things around and just see how that goes. Because Boon of Safety can kind of make for a combat trick itself. And being only one white makes it easy to play as well. I still like having the Broken Wings in the main deck. You know, to kill all the Zyatoras and the Gilded Pinion 4-5s that... Uh, oh, hey, there's the Broken Wings. Now watch, we'll keep this. This is a great hand, actually. We'll keep this, and... Uh, Watch it just not. Watch them just not ever have a thing that flies. Well, they're, we're playing against white though, so it'd be kind of surprising if they did. As far as adjudicators, that doesn't fly. What's wrong with you people? Now yeah, we're just going to put the pressure on our opponent. We could potentially security rocks and sticky fingers. Or even sticky fingers on the jewel thief. And then use treasures to get the... Oh, an extraction specialist. An extraction specialist that you cannot block. 
or that that cannot block. Or take some damage. And I'm actually going to play that with the treasures because I don't have a reason uh, not to. This also leaves up the broken wings, also makes it look like we're leaving up some kind of combat trick. Our opponent has a ton of cards in hand. Well, we've played most of ours. Broker's Charm to do that. Can that have flying instead? I don't really want to trade for that. I'm not in the mood for trading right now. Rocco. I can get something with two for Rocco. All right, let's see what we can get with Rocco. Oh uh, yeah, we definitely want to do that. We have backup agent, decoy, virtuoso. That has to become a target of a spell. Uh, let's maybe just get the backup agent or the decoy. Decoy must be blocked. Let's get the backup agent. We'll put a counter on the Jeweled Thief. Again, if they can play their Spar's Adjudicators, that'd be kind of unfortunate. If they can't, I just get more treasures. I'll probably wait till the... it depends on what we draw here. Okay. Rago can still trade with that. He's a roast master. They would have to... I don't like this. I mean, they could, but I think it'd be likely they'd throw both those away. I think I'd be good with that, because I can back up Agent to block it. Yeah. I'll do that. Oh, they could double block here. I shouldn't have attacked with the... Oh, okay, if they double block there, that's, that's actually better. Yep, I'm I'm fine with that. We'll deal with that somehow. Uh, we'll play a Woody Rose Master. Still leaving up the broken wings for our opponent who full full control because I want to kill that before he attacks with anything. There we go. I will just throw the backup agent into his, uh... Yeah. He's gonna gain a little bit of life back, but he's gonna take a bunch more. Uh, well... I guess I'm gonna sack that and draw a card. So we have nothing going on here. Let's pretend I have a boon of safety. Uh, now they can play the Spar's Adjudicators. Or they can play that. Do they have another one that they're playing or something? 
Oh, I can't. I thought it had to. Oh, that's if something has a counter, then it can't attack. Bouncers be down. That hurt. Um, excuse me. Why did I not get? Why did I not get my card draw? My enchanted creature died. Or did it? Oh no! It exiles up. Oh. Well, that's bad. It's also bad because I don't have anything else here. I mean, it's just going to play the Adjudicators, and my Roast Master can't block, so it may as well attack this turn. And if it trades, it trades. I prevented two damage this turn. Oh gosh. Well, this is a good broker's deck. Uh, I guess we can blitz this, because I don't know what else we're going to do. We're going to draw extra mountains. But they've gained like at least 20 life back from this thing. Well, it's kind of ridiculous. And they keep having flyers. Now we're just dead. I have all lands, and our opponent just kept drawing fuel. We had so many outs for so long. That Sticky Fingers was working well. We still haven't even seen our Angelic Overseer. I'm wondering if we don't just throw in like the Jackhammer to help push damage through. I don't know. That can give a thing double strike, but eh. And our virtuoso never becomes the target of a spell I control. And so now that's only a couple of things. But we haven't seen that card yet either. I don't think our deck is too bad. It's just pittering out later on, which Rocco is... Rocco is kind of a nice mana sink. But, like, both our losses so far have come down to our opponent getting... Like, they just keep getting stuff, and we keep getting lands. This is really awkward, but I think with the sticky fingers on the Mayhem Patrol, I can make it work. In a really weird, messed up kind of way. Oh, hey, that makes things even better. <laughs> now I don't have to do things that messed up. Uh, we have Brokers. I'm just going to play our two drop here. 
Is it brokers or is it just blue white? So far, just blue white. Um, hmm. I don't really like where this is going. I don't really want to spend a light em up. I don't really want to. I don't really want that thing having a shield counter. Postmaster or social climber. But I'd rather that thing have a shield counter on that than. Yeah. Yeah, we'll do it like that. I don't really need the life gain yet. What did I take out for this? Oh, the plasma jockey. That's right. Next turn, I could sticky fingers. Sticky fingers would be a good idea or not now. It probably is. Unless they have like a run out of town or something. Yeah, yeah, that is what they're gonna do. Um Do I wanna draw it again? I mean, it's an action card, at least. I'll do this because I won't have six mana to play both the Climber and the Rose Master. And they just kind of spent their whole turn doing that. They got a two for one out of that deal, though. Oh, that's right, they did have to mulligan. Attacking me for five, apparently. And I cannot stop that, yeah. See, I can gain life, and I can ping them here. So them attacking me for five isn't that bad. Rocco! Oh, what can I do with Rocco? I can get a two-mana creature. That thing can become a five-five is the problem. Let's... We can't quite just sack our things to race him. We'll play Rocco. And yeah, I do want to find something. Backup agent... Doesn't really... Get us through anything. Riveter's decoy? I'll get the backup agent. And we'll make the initiate a bit bigger. That will just kind of force him, and I'm not going to attack, so he's going to have to keep five mana up to do that. Unless he has a whole bunch of flash. Yeah, see. He just kind of wasted his turn. At oh, gosh. Oh, my gosh. 
Okay, well, I can blitz this and still hit him for 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And it gets rid of that counter. Seems good to me. Oh, and I get the uh, Rose Master trigger. Uh, coming in. Quick draw, that's fine. Well, actually, that's not fine. You're totally keeping your shield counter. I'll get to draw. It's a land, because why wouldn't it be? Alright, the thing is, though, this Rose Master kills him if I draw a creature. And I can also just swing out. He can still only block two of my creatures, yeah. Even if, though you have the Broker's Ascendancy, or the, the Broken Ascendancy. Okay, the, the next win is really critical, though. So that we can at least get to the three wins and not have completely sad sadness. Miss Stormcrow. Or M it's empty it's, it's a Stormcrow thing. I have the initiate. If I get a third land, which I'm likely to get, I can get the jewel thief out. Let's go for it. A little bit risky because we can't actually cast anything else in this hand right now. Oh, hey, we finally found Ready to Rumble. What is this? What is... What is a four-color deck? This is what it is. Oh, really, game? Well, I'm not blocking with it. That might have just cost us. Yeah, I kept a two lander with two of my three colors, and now I'm getting the third color card. Snooping Noosey. Oh, now we can't attack. Oh gosh. That thing is already... Oh, I don't want to... Yeah, I don't want to block. There's the Pugilist. We've never found ours. I think just so... Maybe I should have blitzed that so I could potentially draw. I think just so this devil isn't killing my decoy when it dies, I swing with this and he's got to trade something here for it. Yep, that works. If he attacks with both, I can double block the Nusi. Cormella! Just what I wanted to see. Really, game? Okay, so if I would have blitzed that, I would have drawn that. And what would be the next card? Because this the next card would have been the card that we drew this turn. This is a joke. No attacks. I have to discard now. I'm going to need ready to rumble to kill that. So... I guess the backup agent 
is pretty low on my list of things that I'd be playing next. Assuming we ever get to play anything next. Oh, now Cormella's attacking. Um... Menace is so far from mattering right now. Oh, that thing's coming out. That's a 4-4 four, four flyer. Another Cormella? Oh, to get the Snooping Noosey active, and you can cast your Ready to Rumble. Or you get your Ready... And I can't draw a dang third land. Well, that was awful. Two wins. Very sad. All right, well, uh, that's kind of how draft goes sometimes. I thought our deck was decent. Maybe not as good as some of the other decks we've had so far, but uh, didn't seem completely unusable. I mean, what was it? Two of our losses were just due to... Or was it all three of our losses? Two of them due to drawing too many lands while our opponent gets gas, and the third game, us just never seeing a third land after, like, what was that? Our opponent had seven lands, so that was, what, at least six or seven draws? Yeah, that's that's ridiculous. Uh, but for now, I'll take my leave.